It stormed here last night. I'm so thankful. I'm thankful because we're going to get to have another burn day. It also dropped the temperature. So today is going to be a beautiful 70 degree day. But it's also got me thinking about winter. We still have some cleanup to do on the property. Just little things like that's a slide. I don't know if I'm going to keep the slide. I don't know if I'm going to take it with us for the grandkids. That's like a big pipe. So we do have some cleanup that needs to happen also on this place. I've been so consumed by getting the inside done that none of the outside has gotten done. But I feel such an urgency. I feel such an urgency to get it done and to get moved. So after the storms last night and I woke up this morning, I actually woke up to fresh coffee. Chloe got up this morning and made coffee. We're so happy. <laughs> I overslept a little bit this morning and I feel like that's okay. It's gonna be okay. So I wasn't too hard on myself. It all worked out. Everything was fine. But the temperatures this morning have really made me start thinking about winter. Are we gonna have an early fall and are we gonna have a cold winter? And how are we going to be prepared for that? In previous years, we've planned for the event of in case our electric goes out, then what do we do? This year, I'm going to need to plan for in case we're still living in the tent. So wood will be a big deal. I talked to Patrick about as soon as we get moved up there, one of the priorities would be starting to buy ricks of cut wood. We have three or four of the 20 pound propane bottles that we're going to keep filled. That's what we're going to be cooking on. And we've already been discussing our food options. So our diet will change a little bit because we're not going to be able to refrigerate foods. I don't want to have to go to the grocery store every day just to buy fresh food. But I don't really want to eat out of a bag every day. So I've been trying to think about our food options. These are just some things I've been thinking of trying to prepare for our life on the property as we live out of the tent and as we live out of a cooler. How will we stay warm and what will we eat? This has been a whole new type of preparedness. I do know me and Patrick can't afford, our bodies can't afford for us to live off junk and protein powder. Protein powder is going to be a big deal. I've got to make sure that we get our protein every day. What do y'all think? Are we going to have a cold winter? Are going to have a long winter? I am going to prepare as if it is going to be a long cold winter. I don't want to be caught off guard. I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff burning. Patrick wakes up. We'll resume this conversation. Get the excited about it. <laughs> Found a whole box the, of ammo the other day. They know it had excited me. The first thing he says is, where'd you get those pantaloons? <laughs> They're so these. bright. Yeah, sh show them the back side. I've had these, but when we cleaned the closet out, I found them. You didn't say nothing about my hair. You noticed my pants, but you didn't notice my hair. I thought the hair was a touchy subject. <laughs> we could make this video outside, but... Okay. We could. So, the topic but of today... animals and they are jerks. Yeah, the dog is a jerk. So, the topic was... Um, I was thinking about I was thinking about winter because it's kind of cool today and we're gonna burn um, <laughs> but trash not us yeah what if we're still in the tent and it gets colder sooner than we thought how would we be ready for that we have a, a stove available so um and then I was also talking about how our food is like our diet's gonna change we're gonna have to Hopefully. eat um, like easy things like because we're not gonna be able to refrigerate foods like we normally yeah. would we're gonna be doing more work live off of canned goods um, and we're you know instead of having to worry about preparing food all day yeah. for meals I would rather you know we saw those soups at Walmart that you just add water to things like that and I love soup so it's okay with me and I was talking about protein powder. We need to have protein powder available because we're gonna need our protein. Just some of those things. Hot dogs, lots of hot dogs. Ew, no, we don't, live, we don't wanna live off hot dogs. I don't wanna live off, I don't wanna go to packaged food. I don't wanna eat junk food that's gonna make our bodies feel nasty. Hot dogs are not junk, they're amazing. So this, this turned out awkward. Just cause you're a crackhead and up at two in the morning 
Not this morning, I slept in. So anyway, y'all, this was a bomb. And okay. take two. No, I'm just gonna this end is, it here. This is gonna be for the OnlyFans. We're we're not gonna OnlyFans. <laughs> we're not gonna get anywhere. Um and I need to finish my order that needs okay. needs to go out today. Let, let the coffee soak in for a moment. And then and we're then, gonna go out and burn and then so we'll discuss heating options. This is life. Usually I can't ever get a serious conversation out of you. I like no, I'm pull it out. And I'm more of a like deep thinker. Like I need the plan. Yeah. I need to know how this gonna go down. How I want it to. We're gonna redo this one. No, we're not. Yes, we're not. This is going up. No, it didn't. I actually have some work to do before I start burning. And I was thinking, oh, I had told y'all that I was door dashing. So I feel like I need to clarify that I'm no longer doing that now that school's in. So I am sewing. I will continue to sew. Even after we move, I'm going to set up my sewing machine because it's my income. And I'm hoping that there's going to be enough space in our tent for my sewing machine. I just thought of that and I thought, oh, I need to set the record straight that I'm not doing that no more. Wait, before you click off, I want to show you um, the antibiotics that I take. It's a fish antibiotic. I haven't packed up our vitamins and things. This will be something that I pack up when we actually leave it's gonna go with this but this is what I've been taking so it's something to have on hand if you feel safe you can order this kind of stuff online or go to a local co-op or somewhere and get it it's penicillin y'all um, something really good to have on hand in case you can't, can't get to the doctor to get antibiotics I take them and they do me just fine just a thought